Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Limitless and today we are back with another unboxing. It's been a little while since we did an unboxing But uh, as you can see here, we are pulling a relic on I think the second spin here Not a great relic. I'm gonna be honest with you, but hey, it's still a relic um, I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winner today where I might have already done it actually before this video comes out and also poggers let's go two relics back to back that's what i'm talking about and it's a crimson die that's what i like to see but um anyway like i said i'm going to be announcing the winner today either before this video or when this video comes out in my uh community tab um so you guys can look there and see who won and uh we're gonna start another giveaway in this video right here so if you aren't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and do that now make sure alerts are on like the video and comment what your favorite knife is um so yeah there's a lot to talk about today um if you guys have noticed some of you guys may have noticed some of you guys may have not noticed but basically i have um not posted for about two days and that is because i've just been dealing with some stuff uh nothing too horrible uh life's actually been pretty good for the most part i would say but just last night um, I actually hit a deer so if you don't know um, I dry I work uh, late night shifts or whatever I work night shifts and um, I was driving to work at about four in the morning and I tend to go pretty fast um, I have a pretty fast car if you guys are new to the channel you might not know that but I have a pretty fast muscle car it is a 1985 SS Monte Carlo um, with a bigger motor in it all that good stuff you can look it up on Google if you don't know what car that is um, but yeah, so I have a fast car. I drive very quickly. Um, also another relic. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Even though it's not a great relic, but still, um, I drive pretty quick. Like I said, every day and I was driving pretty quick, uh, today, this morning, whatever. And next thing I know, <laughs> little Dero, more like a big deer jumps out. I slam on my brakes, lock up my brakes, slide about 600 feet and I hit him doing probably 50 or 60 miles an hour still because like I said I was going pretty quick uh, before that so I smashed him and uh, yeah man it was pretty rough it did some damage to the car broke my headlight broke my fog light cracked my bumper a little bit uh, honestly I'm surprised the damage was not a lot worse considering I hit him doing about 50 miles an hour head-on so and uh, yeah I mean the biggest thing for me I really wasn't too scared honestly the biggest thing for me was I was just kind of mad. Um, it, it was just frustrating, you know? A lot of damage to the car. That car is an old car, like I just said, 1985. And all the parts of that car cost so much money. So for that to break, it really just kind of sucks. Um, but I'll, I'm going to work on getting replaced, you know, work on getting fixed. At least no one was hurt. Um, I wasn't hurt. No, you know, no one else was hurt. Um, I did have to call the cops, though, just so they can come get the deer out of the road because it was in the middle of the road. And I didn't want somebody else to crash into it and, you know, get hurt. So, and I couldn't move it out of the road. That thing was, like, freaking huge, man. Um, shit weighed a ton. But, you know, so that was a little update there. You know, something a little bit crazy. I've never, you know, had that happen before. So, pretty crazy experience there. Um, besides that though, man, we have been, uh, or I have been doing a ton of trading. Um, I haven't really recorded much because I don't want to flood you guys with trading videos. Um, but I'll have more coming out in the future, obviously. Uh, I don't really count this as a trading video, by the way. I'm just doing it on a server for fun, you know, get some reactions. But as you can probably see from some of these clips, um, you know, my outfit, basically. Uh, man, have I been doing some trading. I, my inventory... I would say about a month ago or even two weeks ago was probably about 300 and something maybe 300 um and right now i'm pretty sure my inventory is about 400 or right at 400 level uh and man it's just crazy another relic by the way awesome um but i've just been absolutely trading and um the thing is the items that i have right now are all pretty high value i would say so it's like you know before i might have had you know 300 something thousand worth of items but they really weren't valuable items these are all items that are easily tradable in my opinion and pretty valuable so that's what's up um if you guys want to send me some trades link will be in the description do not send me a bad trade because i will not accept it um i've definitely improved myself as far as trading goes a ton in the last few days i i think i've got the hang of how trading works for the most part um but 
as you can see in this clip, I have the rainbow sniper. We have the disco mouse head, which I actually do like. Um, and then we have the classic USD TV, like always. I actually have two of them right now because they're great trading items. But uh, yeah, man. Um, it's just been great, man. I've really been liking trading recently, actually. Here, give me one second. I actually just dropped something. Oof. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're here. Still unboxing. Um, but yeah, the idea for the trade server, you know, unboxing, I just figured, you know, normal unboxings are fine, but like at the same time, I want to spice it up a little bit and I thought it'd be cool to get some reactions. Um, you know, we, we definitely did get some reactions, I'm pretty sure. I, I didn't read through everything, you know, the chat when I was doing this, but I know we got some, some reactions so you guys can check that out, pretty cool. Um, this definitely wasn't my best unboxing ever, but at the same time, you know, it wasn't horrible. I mean, we did get a die. I mean, that was pretty cool. We got a couple relics. Um, I do feel like I have a contraband, like, ready to go, though, if that makes sense. Like, I, I feel like I have a contraband just ready to, ready to get unboxed, you know? It just needs the KR, because, um, recently, that's another thing. Recently, I really have not been, uh, unboxing much. I really haven't. Um, that's one of the reasons I've actually been growing my inventory so well, too. A lot of times in the past, um, I've been doing a ton of unboxing. I mean, you guys can, you know, you guys know my videos if you've been a fan for a long time. I've done so many unboxings last month and even the months before that, and I blow through so much KR, man. It's insane. So, just the fact that I have been saving my KR for the most part, this is like the first real unboxing I've done in like probably two or three weeks. Um, and I've just been, like I said, I've just been racking up some, you know, racking up some KR, really growing my inventory, and I plan to get an unobtainable. Um, you know, we got, we borrowed an unobtainable recently. I plan on actually owning one, so that's what I'm pretty much going for right now. Like I said before, if you have any trades that you want to do, obviously not for an unobtainable because I'm not quite there yet. My inventory is not quite there yet. Um, but yeah, any free skins, if you guys want to give me any, that would help out a lot. It's up to you, though, of course, at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, man, we're just grinding up. We're getting there. Um, I did just win 100,000 KR or so um, the other day on my stream from wagering, which was absolutely insane. I was winning some massive wagers the other day. I think I won like two or three just 30,000, you know, 20,000 KR wagers and then a couple of smaller ones, you know, smaller, still 10K or something. But so yeah, man, it's crazy, crazy day. Big wagers, you know, just really risky stuff, man. Really risky stuff. But we did it. We pulled through. I don't think I lost any, actually. Actually, I lost one. But I think the guy might have actually been cheating. I don't know. Not using it as an excuse. I, I think my chat was actually saying the guy seemed a little sus. But I don't know. I, I just gave him the items anyway. I didn't really give a shit. So, But uh, if you guys want to wager me, feel free. Um, don't get discouraged. Just because I won you know, KR on other guys doesn't mean I'll win KR on you. So uh, feel free to wager me. I'll be streaming uh, almost every day, and I usually do at around uh, 2 p.m. Eastern and sometimes 3 p.m. Eastern. That's when we start. So come by, wager me. Let's do it. Um, link will be in the description for my Twitch channel. You just got to scroll through a little bit, and you'll find it. And uh, yeah, man, it'll be some. It'll be fun. I always like doing wagers. One of my favorite things to do on stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure too, honestly. I think I'm probably one of the biggest wagering streamers right now. I'm almost certain about that. Like. I'm pretty sure I wager the most people, and I'm pretty sure I win the most from wagers uh, over anyone else that I know of right now that is streaming. So, I'm not saying that other people can't win wagers, but just the fact that, like I said, I do them very often. I do them almost every day when I stream, and I do other stuff. I do trading stuff too when I stream, but yeah. You know, I really have been thinking about doing uh, a video idea. You guys have, may have seen it before on YouTube, the classic, you know, uh, the classic, you know, 500k or whatever uh, to a contraband, um, and I, I want to try that. I just don't know, man. I just don't know how I would really be able to pull that off because I've kind of, I mean, I've kind of been doing something similar on a larger scale, obviously, and I just, I don't know, man. I, I, it's a struggle because the biggest struggle I would say is the people that have really good items, you know, the, the, the big traders, you know, the ones that are trading Bantas, the ones that are trading Unobtainables, they know what they're doing. They're not dumb, you know what I mean? They know the prices down to the exact number, you know, they know all the guns down to the exact number, and it's just like, you know, they know exactly what they can get for it. So it's like, I don't really know how you can, you know, get to a contract. Well, I mean, you can get to a contraband. I can get to a contraband, but getting to, like, an Unobtainable from nothing, I, I just... 
it's hard because the people, like I said, know what they're doing once you get to that higher level. So it's like, that's kind of where I'm stuck at right now. It's like, I'm, I'm getting at that higher level right now, you know, three, 400, 500K level. And it's like, most of the people I trade with, they are not, you know, they're not dumb. They know exactly what they're trading for. And it's just really, really difficult to, uh, you know, really, really difficult to get a good deal out of those guys. So I don't know, but uh, I'm still learning, still getting better as I go here. So, you know, maybe I'll learn and, uh, you know, just get even better and get that unattainable. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, besides that, I mean, I've just been working a ton. Work's been pretty rough for me. That's another reason why I haven't been posting as much the last few days. Just work has been absolutely killing me. I've been pretty much going in at one in the morning and then working for eight hours straight, even though I'm, wait, never mind, I don't want to say that. Uh, I've been working for eight hours straight and I do really physical work. So like without breaks most times or like little breaks. So it is just extreme last few days, just back to back eight hour days, one in the morning start time. You know, it's just been rough, man. And I've been doing stuff during the day, obviously, too. You know, whether that's hanging out with my girlfriend, whether that's doing whatever else. And it's just taken an absolute beating out of me because, you know, some days I'll be drinking, you know, because I am, you know, I can drink. I am over 21. So, but some days I'll be drinking and then I feel a crap because I'm drinking. Like, it's just been, it's been rough, man. <laughs> it's been rough. But I've been trying to post, you know, I've been trying to keep active with you guys. So, and I plan on posting more after this video right here. But, yeah, man, it's just been rough. It's been rough, but... We're getting through it. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. If you're still watching at this point uh, and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because, you know, you made it pretty far in at this point. Um, I think we're going to end the video here, though. There is actually a little bit of a um, little more spins left, but there's no point in, you know, wasting time on a few more spins. I'm pretty sure they're all bad, if I remember correctly. So one day here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys enter the newest giveaway, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys.